I often get comments on my videos stating that African children here in the UK do excellently in school and in college. So in this video, I'm gonna delve a little bit deeper into the statistics focusing on African children to answer the question, do African children excel here in the UK education system? First of all, let's look at some figures from the academic year 2021 to 2022. And these figures show us the percentage of pupils getting a grade five or above in GCSE English and maths by ethnicity in that academic year. As is usually the case, almost always the case when you're looking at educational outcomes in the UK, Chinese students are way out in front alongside Indian students. So 80% of Chinese students in this academic year achieved five, grade five or above in GCSE English and maths. 55%, so just over half of the African students got a grade five or above in English and maths at GCSE level. Just by looking at this table here, you can see that black African students are not among the very top performing. However, on average, what percentage of pupils in that academic year got grade five or above in maths and English. Well, to know the average, you really need to look at the white British pupils because the vast majority of pupils in the UK are white British. And when you look at white British pupils as a demographic there, you see that 48% of them in that academic year achieved this, this threshold. And that's important because that means that the average for all pupils in that year was thus around about that 48%. So I wouldn't say that means that black pupils are, ex are excelling in education per se, what it really tells us more is that the average overall is quite, is kind of low, kind of mediocre. And that's, that's driven by the fact that white British pupils, only 48% of them achieved grade five or above in English and maths in the academic year. Now, a really important detail behind these statistics relates to pupils who are eligible for free school meals and those who are not eligible for free school meals. I've talked in a previous video about this and how the fact that a child is eligible for free school meals is seen in this country as a marker, a proxy marker, so an indirect indicator that that child is growing up in poverty or relative poverty. Look at this table here. This is looking at that same academic year, 2021, 2022, from the same data set. And it shows the percentage of pupils getting grade A, grade five or above in GCSE English and Maths. The orange bars are those are those pupils who are eligible for free school meals. You see there that around about 45% of African pupils who, who were eligible for free school meals achieved this, this threshold. The only groups where there was a higher proportion of free school meal pupils getting that level were Asian other, Bangladeshi, Indian and Chinese. Then compare that, the orange bars again, free school meals. Look at the proportion of free school meal eligible pupils in all the other ethnic groups. And in particular, look right at the bottom the demographic where the lowest proportion of free school meal eligible pupils got this attainment threshold were white British. Only 20% who were eligible for free school meals achieved grade five or above in English and maths in 2021, 2022. That's half the rate than it was the case for African pupils. Why this is the case, I don't know. And the, you know, I will return to this point in future. There's a lot to dig into to try and understand what's going on here. But one more thing I do wanna point out with regard to GCSEs before we move on to a higher level, advanced level, A-levels, pupils who live in London tend to do better than pupils who don't live in London at GCSEs. This is a well attested point that comes up every year. There's talk about the regional disparities and how England is so London centric and all this sort of stuff. This, in my opinion, helps to explain or is one of the factors behind the improved performance of black African pupils versus say white British pupils because when you look at the proportion of them who live in London, you see that upwards of nearly 80% of, of black Africans live in London versus what, less than 10% less than of white British people living in London. So that clearly is gonna have an impact on the educational attainment. I've seen some figures actually looking at the five top line ethnic groups, black, white, Asian, mixed and other. When you look at those groups, obviously this, this doesn't separate out into black African and Caribbean and so forth. But when you look at that and you look at pupils in London only, you find that actually Actually, pupils in London, among pupils in London, the white British ones tend to, a higher proportion of those get the good grades in math and, maths and English compared to the black pupils. But again, that's of limited use in this video because the black figure doesn't separate out Africans from Caribbeans. And now let's move on to A-levels. For those of you who are not in the UK, A-levels stands for advanced levels. And this is the educational stage that you go into after high school. And then when you pass your A-levels after two years usually, then that is your basis for going on to university, if you're gonna go into university. What can we see about African pupils' attainments 
at A level. Well, it's very interesting. This is now looking at 2022 to 2023, that particular academic year. So you can look at all the, you can look at the, the, the ethnic groups there in your own time, pause it and, and study, or look at my Substack, go to the Substack link and you can access all of these figures for yourself as well as all the links as to where they came from. Make sure you subscribe, by the way, to my Substack, please. Again, you've got there, the average grade for Chinese pupils was B+. Plus. For Indian, mixed white and Asian, white Irish was B. The average grade for Bangladeshi, Asian other, mixed white and black Caribbean, mixed white and black African, mixed other, white British and white other was B-. minus. And then at the bottom are the Pakistani, Black African, Black Caribbean, Black Other and Irish Traveller. The average grade for them in that academic year was C+. One more thing I just want to point out is to look at now the high achieving A-level pupils. It's all well and good looking at the average grade, but what proportion, what percentage of pupils in each of these ethnic groups achieved three A's at A-level in 2022 and 2023? You can see here again, as is tradition, Chinese pupils, nearly 40% of them got three A's at A level. Then you see there's similar kind of patterns there. You've got white Irish, Indian, mixed white and Asian who are, you know, up there with a the higher, higher proportions. Where are African pupils? African pupils are right near the, the other end. You've got around about 13% of black African pupils achieved three A's at A level in this academic year. So it's interesting, something has changed clearly. Something has happened between GCSEs and A levels. I don't have time to get into exactly what that might be now, but I certainly will be returning this point in future. So the overall answer to the question, do African pupils or African children excel in education here in the UK? The answer is, Somewhat yes, but also no. Somewhat yes, because at GCSE levels, African pupils outperform the majority of other pupils. A higher proportion of African pupils get uh, a good grade at maths and English at GCSE than is the case for the overall average. However, with that, we c I, I need to find more data on that because I would like to see, for example, how many of these, how many of the pupils, what proportion of those pupils got the very highest grades, you know, to really, to really understand that in a little bit more detail. And then when you now look at A levels, advanced levels, you see that the, the African pupils do not excel on average. Some do, of course, many do, many, many do. And this isn't, just for those of you sometimes who might struggle a little bit with statistics, to say an average doesn't mean that every single person fits into what we're saying here. It's an average overall, on average. There are outliers at both ends. Some African pupils are, do extremely well at A-level. Some African pupils do pretty poorly at A-level. And then there's a bunch who are roughly clustered around each other. That average, on average, the average point score at A-level, the average grade achieved at A-level is amongst the lowest of all of the ethnic groups, unfortunately. And also the proportion of African pupils who achieved three A's at A-level in 2022-2023, and it's the same in previous academic years, you can look for yourself, is amongst the lowest out of all ethnic groups. So that's all I want to talk about in this video. What I do want to go on to, because I know some of you, are saying to yourselves right now, maybe some of you are getting ready or you've already typed, no, because Nigerian pupils do better than Somalis and Ghanaian pupils do better than Ugandans or whatever, because we, we love to separate ourselves off and, and, and assume that, you know, we're better than everybody else. <laughs> In a future video, I will dig in. I will I will research and see if there is any data out there which can give us a clue as to whether there are any differences between African pupils' educational attainment based on the countries of origin. So stay tuned for that. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I do look forward to your thoughts. I, I love your insightful input as well, particularly those those of you who, who, who deal with the issues, weigh up the issues and, and come with like weighty, well thought out comments. I really appreciate those. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Like the video if you haven't already liked it. Also make sure that you check out the Substack. So it's elliwananda.substack.com. It's basically a mailing list page where you can get all of the videos sent to you every week along with the notes and the and the and the images and the and the figures and the references. And also if you would like to watch more videos from me, there are many on my channel. There's a video here which YouTube will recommend, and also there's a video here which I think dovetails very well with this topic. Alright, take good care of yourselves and I will see you soon. Peace.